Since my last van videos, a lot of people have been asking about the progress. Have you done much more with Vanberry? And the answer is big time. I've cut out side panels, I've gone to wrecking yards searching for heater cores, I've pulled out the lining and installed the floor, but the problem is I haven't exactly completed these projects. For example, I've carpeted the cab of my van, but until we remaster the dash, I can't finish it up as I don't want to be tearing out that carpet that I just installed to run cables. I also want to make a video about side panels, but I can't install them until the sound system's finished, and I can't work on the sound system until the dash is remastered. See my dilemma? So I've been wanting to talk about what's been going on with the van, but I haven't really had a lot of time to explain. And whenever I do try to make a video, I realize that the projects that I've been working on aren't really completed, so I can't talk about them yet. Uh, for example, my side panels over here. Uh, they're all cut out, and as you can see, they're edged out really well. But the problem is, I can't put them in my van because until the sound system is put in, those have to stay right where they are. I can't work on the sound system yet because the dash has to be rebuilt. So, and right now we're currently working on the solar. So I just kind of want to let you guys in right now onto what I have been doing so you know that progress has been made. So first of all, this stuff right here, this Silas, uh, it's technically Dynamat. Um, if you guys have ever heard this soundproofing material, I've laid all throughout my van and it, uh, it looks really nice and sounds a lot better too. Another thing that I've done is all this rug and carpet here has all been put in other than where I need to put the rest of the dash. Um, don't mind the insulation, I haven't put any of that in yet. Uh, the boards back here, not the side panels, these boards here, they are also in the van acting as my floor right now and eventually I'll put these waterproof laminate panels down over the top of that. And I actually uh, stained these with my mother so that they match the same color as the floor, which is gonna be really neat. Um, as you can see over here, my old side panels were a little disgusting, sticky ass, gross plastic and cardboard pieces of crap. Um, so we've gone ahead and cut those out and redone them, which is really nice. And then everything that you're seeing here is stuff we've ripped out of the van um, and have uh, pretty much been prepping. So let's go over to the van real quick and we'll take a look at what I've been up to. All right, so looking in here, the first thing you're gonna notice is that floor that we were talking about. Um, those I cut out with a buddy of mine, Logan, he actually cut them out and um, popped them in along with these this one inch thick insulation down there. I was told not to insulate the floor, I might even take it out. Um, In here, we're carpeted all through the cab, except for where we're gonna do some dash work and wiring. I wanna make sure not to cover that up so that we don't have to rip this out again. Um, and then I actually got some uh, floor mats, which I thought was kinda cool. And they fit in there well enough. One of them is a longer, uh, you're supposed to be able to cut it out, but it doesn't really fit up in there. And then the last thing you're gonna see that we've really worked on is the solar. Um, as of right now, they're only hooked up. We don't have the battery system in there ready to go, uh, but you can see that Dynamat in there is looking really nice and has really done a lot of work for making this uh, uh, more soundproofed. Now I wanna show you some of the flaws in my van. First flaw is if you ever wanna just break in, <laughs> <laughs> you don't really have much trouble doing it and none of my uh, back windows actually lock so that's one thing that I really need to touch up um, another thing I was talking about those mirrors I definitely want to fix I need a rear view mirror just in general <laughs> um, but a lot of these little things I mean I already have them uh, I just need to finish up my little projects and I'll be ready to honestly like build my shelving, build myself a little bed and, and I'd be good to go. So, so far, that's where I'm at with the van. 
One last thing that I know I did mention, but I want to mention again, is when I was working at Best Buy, I bought a speaker system for my car. And uh, so when we rebuild the dash, we're actually going to put this in the van instead. So that's another project that we got to get going. But again, can't work on the sound system until we get that dash done. So for now, let's talk about some of the projects I have done. Now there is one project that I have mostly finished, and that is the soundproofing. These are 50 millimeter Silas sound dampening pads, and they're kind of amazing. I got 54 square foot of this stuff and covered my van. I started with the doors and moved on to the cab, cleaning every surface thoroughly as I went on. After I finished both doors, I moved on to the back crevices near the engine bay. Now technically you only need to cover 25% of the area that you want to sound dampen, but I had so much of this stuff that I figured why not just cover it. And I was really impressed by its results. So today, I have taken the time to throw some soundproofing insulation into all the cracks and crevices of my van. So I got it all through there and then on the other side. Now I don't have it in here. I want to show you guys something real quick. So I'm going to close this door. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that insane? After that, it was time to move on to the cab. While I was removing the lining about a month ago, I also took out that disgusting old cab carpet. It looked like it hadn't been vacuumed in years, and the underside was... Well, see for yourself. Under the carpet is this foam dampener, which I decided I was going to clean up and reuse. Underneath that? Yikes. Now I can say that I'm very thankful that there was no rust or damage under here, so in all it could have been worse. After taking some time and cleaning this up, I got it looking presentable enough to put down the Silas. Okay, so I went ahead and I cleaned all this up. So it actually looks a lot nicer. There's some spots that I do need to uh, continue to brush out. I'm going to take this and just kind of sweep up the rest. And then I'm going to start putting in the soundproofing. I'll then clean that over there uh, and pop that back in and then we can lay the carpet down. Hopefully now it makes sense as to why I haven't been posting as many van videos as I've done projects. I want to make everything its own video, but there are so many small things that hold me up and get in the way. The last part of this soundproofing project, however, was the living area of my van. I used a rubber mallet to press down the dampening pads and it seemed to work really well. After about three days of hard work, I finally completed this part of the van build and was ready to relax. All right, so after just a couple hours of work, I got all of this done right up in here. Everything in here is all complete all the way to the back. Up in the front, all taken care of, and even down up in the cab. So we're ready to rock and roll and throw that carpet in there. And that's how I installed the soundproofing. I'll have a lot more videos as these projects get finished up. I just hate the idea of making a part 1 and part 2 videos on stuff that could fit in their own video. But she's almost done. As of right now, all I have left is the solar, storage space, a bed, and a dash rebuild. Everything else is cosmetic or minor fixes. Just a few more projects and the hippie bus and I will be hitting the road. A few of you guys have been asking if I was going to paint the van, and I've certainly thought about it, but that would be a project for the future. Maybe one day she'll be my blueberry bus, but for now, yeah, she kind of looks like a turd.